Hi, Dwayne Henry Hofer Lyon with our series continuing Conversations with the Street Preacher. This is conversation number 16. Our theme is camping. I want to talk about camping. One of our little chats was titled Back to Mayberry, Back to Walton's Mountain. Talking about the simple life, simple living. Now, something we did in my youth, we lived out in New Mexico a couple years. My dad worked at the copper mine. We lived in Deming, New Mexico for half a year, and then Silver City, New Mexico, half a year. And we went up to the Gila National Forest along the Gila River, which in Tennessee and Kentucky, we'd called it a creek. Out there, they called it a river. We went camping, went frog gigging with our friends, Marty and Tim. You know, one thing I learned camping, you can't take enough food. Something about camping makes you hungry. Now, I cooked a pack of hot dogs today on the fire and some southern pit barbecue beans. And I ate half half a can, and some of the dogs, I'm going to have the rest for breakfast. But camping was fun. Now, back, back in Jordan, we went out camping over towards Woodland Mills at the reservoir. And we enjoyed that. A lot of good times. I remember they had a little island, and Mom always told us, Dad was off working construction a lot, don't go out on that island. Of course, we swim right out on the island, snakes and all. One night we slept along the bank, not on the island, but over on the bank, and woke up and was surrounded by pigs. Now, they were all around the camp, fascinated by us. We had bedded down in a pig lot, and I'm glad we woke up when we did. I didn't. I didn't know what their intentions were, but we would swim and jump off a, a little dam there, and we had a big time camping. We need to get back to simple living, get back to the simple ways, unclutter our lives, and make time for worship. Make time for family. Make time for Jesus. Get back to the simple times. I used to like to watch that show, Petticoat Junction. It's kind of a silly show. But I enjoyed it. And I uh, always wanted to kind of live in Mayberry. Live on Walton's Mountain. And I'm, I'm a pretty simple person. I'm a poet and a pop bottle collector, street preacher, world traveler. But I'm very simple. Some people <laughs> say I'm I'm real childlike. I don't know. I just said I never would grow up. I like having fun and uh, laughing. I enjoy good books. I enjoy the arts and culture. I enjoy intelligent people, men and women. I'm a conversationalist. I like to talk to intelligent people. And I enjoy meeting new people. I find people fascinating. Wondering where are they going? What are they doing with their life? Over in Denmark, in Norway, I met some fascinating people. And I have told you this before, I have discovered all over the world, people are just that, they're people. Now over in Europe, in a lot of areas, I know in Sweden they've got what's called a free man's law or something like that. You can camp anywhere, you just can't be within... 100 foot of somebody's house, something like that. 
But I found uh, up in Canada they're big campers. Camping's fun. I'm on a one-man camping trip tonight. Got a nice fire going. I'm going to have to hunt some more wood in the morning. Now, you can't go out in the forest and pick wood. Uh, you have to buy it from the, the rangers. The other day, I was just picking up little twigs. You can do that. And the host had found four or five pieces of wood that somebody had left behind. And they felt sorry for me here. Brought it by and gave it to me. So I've, I've had about three fires here so far. Just something sitting around a campfire, talking, conversing with people. Now, I need a lot of people in my life, I do. But I am somewhat of a loner. I am somewhat of a loner. But if I can get around the right person, I'll, I'll talk and pour into their life and learn from them. If I get around non-artistic people and non-readers, the people that I just can't learn from or can't teach, I'll tend to clam up. I, uh, I like a good conversation. I like depth. Now... My daughter says, Daddy, my oldest daughter, Daddy, <laughs> most of the time you got about 200 words <laughs> in your vocabulary. And that's true. You know, when I write, I get real serious writing for newspapers, writing articles. I'll lock myself in and burn up a lot of brain cells and so kind of did these stress I've got about 200 words in my vocabulary throughout most of the day <laughs> but the right person comes along and challenges me or asks me a question oh I love for people to ask me questions I love for people to ask me questions that's what I do answer questions and discern people discern situations so I'm a I got a little bit of backpacker in me one time I was ended up camping out in the Sahara Desert in Morocco. What an experience. But when I first got to Morocco, I jumped off the train in Marrakesh and a, a donkey was pulling just a flatbed metal wagon. It was about four foot by maybe five foot, just flat. Looked like sheet metal. And I just hopped up on the back of the wagon. Well, the fella spoke Arabic, tried to shoo me off, and I just smiled and kept waving and talking. English, he didn't understand. He finally just left me on there, and I rode about 45 minutes and then just jumped off the wagon somewhere in Marrakesh. I don't wear a watch. I don't keep up with time when I'm on a journey. It just, when the sun goes down, I'm, I'll try to, like get into camp or wherever I am. It didn't get dark here tonight till 10 o'clock. So the chicken stayed up longer and I did too. I'll generally wake up 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. Camping or not. But camping is fun. Go camping. And I'm kind of a camper, a backpacker, a traveler. I'm going to write a book. Uh, my journey with God or my journey with Jesus and just talk more about my travels. This is a conversation number 16, I believe. So thanks for tuning in and plan a family camping trip. It's fun. God bless you and have a good night.